Hi, Bill Edstrom here, and I want to show you an easy way to use automation to create a stutter effect for your tracks in Traction T6. Before I get started, remember that you can always check out my book, which is Guide to Traction 6 to learn a lot about traction. Just go to leanpub.com, type in the word traction, and you'll find the book, and you can click on that. You can buy your copy right there, download it. It's an ebook, and you'll be able to read it on your devices or just read it as a PDF file. It's 329 illustrated pages that covers most of the core workflows and traction. Now, to get this effect, first I'm going to play you the track and kind of give you an idea of what I'm trying to achieve. All right, so these chord stabs that's the thing I want to create. Instead of having it be a solid stab, I want it to stutter and go da da instead of what it's doing right now. So I'll solo the track. And then to set up automation, the first thing we do is go to the end of the track, click plus, which gives us an automation lane. And then from there, we can drag the A icon, the automation icon, up to volume and drop it there and choose volume. So now we have a volume automation curve. So I'm gonna zoom in a bit here and add two points to this curve where I'm gonna cut out the volume, basically automate a volume off in the middle part of this stab. So right here on the node to add a point to the node, you either double click it or what I'm gonna do is hold down Option or Alt depending on the kind of keyboard you have. So I'll hold down Alt add a point here and a point here. Now if you hold down Command on a Mac or Control on a PC and grab the line between any two points, you can put in an automation step like this. So that's the shape I want. All right, so I want to adjust these slightly here. I'm using the mouse wheel to do that zoom like that. Yeah, maybe I don't want to cut all the way out put in a shape. I like the sound of that. That's giving me kind of the right idea. Back up a little bit. Right. I think that's a little more interesting, but I'm not going to go quite as deep with that stutter. Right. That's exactly what I want. So now I want to copy this to all the other cycles of this within that verse. So I'm going to hit I here to set the in marker. I'm going to go right up to the next one and I'll press O here to set the out marker. That's the in and out marker flags right there. Now if I select the curve, there is a button here to copy the marked region to the clipboard. This would be the marked region of the automation curve. And then you can paste it from the clipboard. The cursor is already here, so I'm going to paste it from the clipboard paste curves at the cursor position. You see I can use the standard insert, which is Command V or Control V. And if I click that, now I've copied that. So let me audition that before I do more of these. Yeah, that worked just right. So I can go here and I'll do Command V to paste it. And then out here, I'll do that again. Now rather than continue to copy and paste one bar at a time. Now I'm going to grab out to the next one right here and I'll do the this button here, copy marked region to clipboard again and we'll position the cursor right at this point and we'll do the paste with command V. So then each time I get out here I can keep pasting this in I didn't do that right, so I'll undo that. I want to paste it right at the beginning of the actual chord stab until I've got them all in here. And it looks like I've got it. And that's it. It's quite a simple operation once you get the hang of it. That is how you create a repeating pattern to create a stutter effect and 
basically, this is how to copy and paste a section of an automation curve if you want to create a repeating pattern. Thanks for watching.